Another cool feature of jQuery UI is the droppable feature. Basically, it creates a target for you to drop your draggable elements. Try saying that 10 times fast. Anyway, uh, we created previously the draggable boxes, but now in droppable, you can create a container or a target to drop those boxes on. Now, I have a file here called droppable.html. It's in your course files uh, folder. Go ahead and drag that in here so you can have that to work with. Basically, it just has the container with some more boxes and a droppable uh, container. It also has some corresponding styles and that will be in your final course file. So again, make sure you have all of that up to date. Now in the script.js, that's where the magic happens. We're gonna work with some droppable. The basic syntax for the droppable um, method is really just this. I'm gonna select the droppable element uh, the ID that I created, I created a container and styled it uh, to look like a droppable little box or just a big box that you could drop elements on. And then it's just droppable, but there's more involved in here. There's the open and closing curly braces. And then in here, you're going you're to need to put some more uh, parameters. You need to, by default, have the drop and then uh, uh, colon and then function. Open, closing, curly brace and this is what you need so far. So then basically, this is going to tell the browser uh, once you've dropped an element, a draggable element on this container, then you need to just give some feedback to say, hey, you've actually, I've seen, I see that you have dropped something on me. And I'm gonna select this, which is gonna select the droppable container. And then I'm going to find the span tag, which I have, in the HTML, let me just show you so you can see I'm not making this up. I have the droppable ID and I have a span in here with just some text. Basically, I'm just gonna change that text. So find span and then HTML, I'm going to say when a box got attitude, drop it like it's hot. Close that string. Now the other, oh, double string here. We're gonna make sure that all of this, okay, I'm gonna put a double string because I have a single string in here. Uh, there we go. Now I could say find span HTML or I could just straight up go something like this, dot text and just change the text of this element. So let's see what happens when you drag an element on the droppable container. When a box got attitude, drop it like it's hot. See how that worked? Let's try another one. When a box got attitude, drop it like it's hot. You could drop it anywhere. There we go. Pretty cool. Now there's more to the droppable method. You can make something draggable, but uh, you can't. But but not let certain elements be droppable. So for example, let's say we wanted uh, box number one, this one. Uh, to be to be allowed to be dropped, meaning everything else cannot be dropped and it won't give any feedback. So the droppable container won't accept it. So right before the drop here, I'm going to say accept, and then in a string, double or single, box one, and then comma, because there's going to be another uh, parameter here. So accept box one. So that means only accept this one. Let's see what happens. When a box got out of two, drop it like it's hot. I'm going to refresh. Trag number two. Didn't work. That's because it's not accepting it. Accepting this one, though. Cool. Now what you can also do to give some more feedback for if a box isn't going to uh, be allowed to be droppable, you can revert the boxes. So revert the boxes back to their original position if um, you're, you did something wrong. So let's just show what that looks like. It's basically not within the droppable method though. It's within the draggable method. So it makes sense because it's an extension of the droppable uh, functionality, but it is a part of the draggable method. So let's choose box one and say comma revert. And then if it is invalid, so meaning if you didn't drop the box one within the droppable container, revert it back to its original position. Let's see if we did that right. So I'm not gonna drop it properly. It drops it back, it's, it's saying, hey, you missed. Let's say, what if you had, you know, if you had two drop, 
droppable boxes and you could you can only drop one in one and one in the other if you dragged you know this one was in the wrong one say this was one right here and it goes back then you get that hey that one's not the right one let's try this one it's almost like if you're making a kids game where you needed to drag elements you know, if you're using your iPad and you were, you dragged a box and you went and you it wasn't the matching shape, and then it goes back. I've seen that actually. I was playing some some games at IKEA with my daughter on the little screen, and she was playing a game where you would drag a shape into the the other shape, so a square into a square, or a circle into a circle, so on and so forth. And if she dragged it in the wrong spot the box or the circle would go back to its original position. So this is exactly what this is. You're basically creating a kid's game. So if you drag it in the wrong spot, whoops, but if you drag it in the right spot, you nailed it. So that's how that works. You can also revert, uh, let's say box number, well, I believe we're working with box uh, number four. That's the ID box four. So we're gonna go to script here and say box four and say revert uh, let's see, well, let's just say invalid. Let's see what happens here if we say the same thing. There we go. So that means it's invalid as well because it's not a, a, acceptable. It won't accept that element into the droppable. If I were to say valid, then I probably, I think it would just stay there. Yeah. Same goes for this one over here. If I change this to valid, it will revert if you drag it and drop it in the proper spot which doesn't really make sense, but you can do either or. Now, that's basically how Droppable works. It's an extension of Draggable. And if you want to know more about Droppable, you just have to go to jQueryUI.com slash Droppable. It has all the examples. And again, the demos with the source that you can play around with. Uh, a couple of other cool demos like shopping cart demos and, and so on and so forth. But we're going to be doing more cool stuff with jQueryUI coming up. So hang in tight.